Opilots um, is is a great great uh, project. Uh, the, I think the best thing about it is actually the away time, so all the places that you get to go and see, and for those communities, what you're bringing to people that you know is is that can't travel to Glasgow or, or Edinburgh or even sometimes you know we do go to Inverness, but going to these small communities and really feeling um, uh, the relationship with 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 people out and about in Scotland is brilliant. Uh, as a singer, Highlights is a great learning curve because the rehearsal period is extremely short and the repertoire is varied and large, so it's a great challenge for us as well and the four of us have really had a great time uh, sort of gelling and working things out together mm -hmm. on stage, so, so it's been really good. I interviewed John Austin Graham who had been in one of the very early tours mm -hmm. uh, in the 60s and he said that uh, he looks back on it fondly because it took him to places he had no reason ever to go to again in his, his life. Yeah, absolutely. So true. I, I mean, we were in Durness last week, an absolutely stunning, stunning place, but if I wasn't on highlights, I wouldn't necessarily have taken that in amongst the same trip as going to Gearlock or um, Oban or wherever else you know, we go even on the tour. Is there such a thing as a typical day? On the highlights tour? Yes. I don't think so because you can't really put. I mean, it, typical as in that, in such a way as you do fall into the routine. So one day is, is a performance day, so you're you're already at the venue. You get up in the morning, you know, probably have a breakfast together, explore a little bit, and then you're sort of in your own zone, getting ready for the show. And then the next day will be a travel day, gen generally speaking. So we always try to arrive at the venue the day before, so we've got that time. So that in that sense is typical, but because the venues are all so different. It's, it's great because you just take, take each day as it comes in. And it's a really important thing as a singer and a performer to adapt to actually be able to adapt quickly um, to whatever your surroundings are and, and what the day brings. And as we know in Scotland, the weather uh, plays a big part. But we were really lucky, so we've had some beautiful days. How many are in the party apart from the, the artists? So there's four singers. And then we've got Jonathan on the piano, keeping us all in check. And... Um, We've got Claire from marketing and Rob, who's our stage manager, and it keeps us all safe and makes sure we're all in the right place at the right time. So it's it's lovely. It's a small group, but but really nice. What's your um, favourite venue so far? Oh, that's a difficult. Or favourite audience, I should say. Oh so, no, so they're all they're all. What, the great thing that we we're just seeing this last night is that every audience is different because the size varies, the venues vary. Um, but certainly I've done two small scale tours because Cosy Fan Tutti also went round about and what I've found so far, maybe it's because I'm from Scotland so I feel sort of connected to that. My favourite venue has always been the most remote, probably going back to what you're saying about the fact that you're so privileged to get out to these these places. So I loved Durness, I loved Plockton. Um, but at the same time it's always nice to go to two bigger venues as well.